Hi everyone, my name is Marissa Fry and I am a violin and viola teacher. I am a part of the Fry Music Duo with my husband Wesley, who is a tenor and pianist. And check out our page. I will be offering teaching videos, performance videos with Wesley. If you like us, subscribe, like this video, and comment for videos that you'd like to see. Today I'm going to be talking about your setup. So this applies to both violin and viola players. And what I mean by our setup is the equipment we have on the back of our instrument to help us when we are playing. So our setup is crucial for comfortability when we're playing, uh, injury prevention. I can't stress how important it is to have and find your proper setup. Today I'm going to be talking about a few pointers in finding your right setup, um, what's going to work best for you, um, and the key is going to be injury prevention. I can't stress enough how important it is to have a good setup when playing violin and viola because it's essential in injury prevention. Violin and viola players are some of the most injury prone instrumentalists because we hold it up on our shoulder, our arm is in a strange position. This isn't really something that we naturally do in our everyday life and therefore it can cause a lot of strain if we're not having the proper measures to take care of our bodies. Setups are going to look different from different players. Everybody is going to have something different that works best for them. And the reason why that is, is because we all have different bodies. We all have different body types, lengths, um, ways that we hold it slightly might vary. And so we want our setup to benefit our individual way we work with our instrument. So that being said, here are some pointers to help you in finding your own setup. The very first thing you should think about when figuring out what setup you want is thinking about the length from your jawline here to the top of your shoulder and clavicle. So as you see with my neck, I have a longer neck than some. So my setup and how I have adjusted my shoulder rests, I have to compensate this area here. So this is a great place to start. I'm gonna show you a couple different kinds of shoulder rests because I actually use two different kinds of shoulder rests for my violin versus my viola. So this is a Wolf Forte Secondo uh, shoulder rest. As you can see, we have a lot of variance in height. And let me talk about that. So we, on each shoulder rest, there's some level of variance for your height. So what I love about the Wolf is we have all of this space to utilize. That's like a good inch. That's pretty significant. That's a lot of space that we can adjust for our different heights. So um, what I use for my viola is a Kuhn Bravo. Um, Kuhn has various models of shoulder rests that all look very similar to this. Uh, as you can see, we get a little bit, um, you know, we can screw this in farther if we'd like to vary our height. Um, but as you see, I, I have inserted an extra long foot in my shoulder rest, and this helps with my viola. The last kind of shoulder rest that I don't personally use, and I'm, I, I don't find a lot of success with it in my own playing, it might work just fine for you, is the Everest um, shoulder rest. So as you can see from the feet of the shoulder rest, there's not a ton you can do. You can, we can raise it a little bit but it's very slight in how much height difference we're able to get with this particular model. So now that you've seen where we vary the height on the equipment itself, let's talk about applying that to our instrument. So we have to compensate for this space because this is what ends up going under our jaw here and down here. So we need, at first, let's start with the side that has the chin rest. This is usually higher than it is than this side. Um, so mine's pretty high and I have it figured out where this length sits really comfortably under my neck. So when you figure out your setup, start with that side, start figuring out that what sits comfortably. I'm gonna show you a couple things that you should try to avoid. If, you, if you've adjusted it and you find that you have to do this, or that you can't even like move your head it's so high then you should readjust a little bit go somewhere in the middle where i can still lift my head on and off 
but when I take my hands away, it just stays. So the, the last part to think about with your setup, which is often neglected, is now the space on the other side of your shoulder rest, so the side that doesn't have the chin rest um, here. This can cause a lot of discomfort for players. Um, oftentimes this side is just fine, the, sh the side with the chin rest, and then this side is a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe some I've seen even kind of like jab into the clavicle here. Um, so when you're adjusting mat, you, you want to find a height that will let your violin stay in your nice tall position. You should find your natural posture and adjust to that natural posture. So if everybody has a little bit different way that their neck sits, that their, their neck length is going to vary. So this isn't going to look the same for everyone. So going back to this side, I see sometimes players lack what they need from this side of the shoulder rest or from that side of the setup. Um, and let me show you a few ways that you can help if you're finding that this is just a little bit uncomfortable in your setup. So if you're finding that you're, you've screwed um, your shoulder rest as far as it can possibly go and it's still not compensating the space here enough for you, um, you can use these little pieces of foam. Um, these are relatively inexpensive and they work really nicely. You know, you can rubber band them on that part of it, um, but it gives you just a tiny bit more height and also a little bit more cushion, um, especially on like the Kuhn Bravo. This is kind of a rough piece of foam. It's not very cushiony, um, a little bit rougher, but as you can see with these, it's is pretty squishy, pretty comfortable. Um, so if you're finding that that side of your shoulder rest isn't giving you A, enough height when you've um, adjusted all you possibly can, or B, just kind of digs in, I recommend these because these are great for just a small minor difference and you don't have to go get an entirely new piece of equipment. So if you have adjusted all that you can, you've maybe tried putting a little bit extra support and something still doesn't feel right, I would explore looking at different shoulder rest options for you and figure out if it's just too tall, maybe it isn't tall enough, but what is lacking in your piece of equipment that isn't benefiting you. Only then would I recommend going and maybe trying a different kind of shoulder rest. Um, I Once again, the Wolf has a lot of, of room for height. These can get pretty tall. So if you're finding that your shoulder rest just does not have enough height for you, um, this might be a route to go. Um, try those foam pads if you don't wanna go and buy something new. But I just wanna stress how important it is to bring your instrument to your body and not your body to your instrument. So I see this a lot where players scrunch down. You can hear in my voice, there's tension. Um, this can, you know, cause neck and back injury. Um, most of the time, uh, tendinitis is a really common one, but we still are very prone to back and neck injuries. So we want this to come to our bodies. So I'm bringing it to me. I'm not changing anything about my posture. I'm bringing this to me and not the other way around. So that's what I have to say about your setup. Again, I can't stress how important it is in injury prevention. Your, your instrument should feel so comfortable. Um, and the equipment that you put on the back is so crucial for finding that comfort and for just making it feel as natural as it possibly can. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, want to reach out to me, my email is marissa at frymusicduo.com. You can message me. I have openings in my studio. If you just want a consultation, like I just need a half hour to figure this out. I can't figure out what's not working. Feel free to reach out. And remember to hit like and subscribe and comment on something you'd like me to teach on or something you'd maybe like to hear from us. Thanks for watching.